Hey, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. Got another PreSonus Studio One video for you. Today we're going to hone in specifically on this cute little question mark. If you are new to Studio One, or even if you've been using it for a while and you feel like there are some features you never can't figure out or you can't remember how to get to them, maybe you saw me do something in a video and you, you thought, that's really cool, I want to remember that, but then you forgot and you can't find the video. I, I understand. It's so frustrating. Well, this, this is the answer to a lot of those issues, this little question mark. So when you click on it, look what happens. This little black area opens up. Disappears, opens up, disappears, opens up. Okay, And what this is, it's kind of like a cheat sheet. So if you're just starting with Studio One and this is the first time you've ever used it, absolutely, first thing you should do is click this button. What it does, as you move your mouse around the session, you'll see information start to fill in this gap. And it's basically showing you keyboard shortcuts and different things you can do depending on where the mouse is hovering. So it mostly has to do with stuff inside the edit window here or the arrange window. Um, but it's, it's actually really cool. So let's say... We're doing some editing and we click on this piece of audio, okay? This is a kick drum track. And right here, as we just hover over this piece of audio, look at all the things we can do. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see some of them. So we said the arrow tool, that's a given. Um, it lets us select things. And it shows here, <laughs> I can't point at it, but if we, we can click and drag things, we can move things. And then over here, right above my mouse here, it says we can do a slip, slip event. If, look at that, if we hold down Command and Option. Those are the signs for Command and Option. So what happens when I do that? Command, Option. See, now that slip event is, is changed to white. It was blue here, now it's white because I'm holding down Command and Option. And look what happens when I click and drag the audio. Ooh, this is my favorite one of my favorite editing features in Studio One. It allows me to move the underlying audio without the edge of the audio moving. Really great for pocketing and editing. You can mess things up pretty quickly if you don't forget to undo it. Uh, really cool feature. Uh, if I want to draw a selection, I can hold down Shift. That's what that up arrow is. And this allows me to draw a selection. Not sure what that really means. <laughs> um, to toggle select, if something's selected, if I have these two pieces of audio selected and I want to deselect one of them, I can hold down shift and click one and it's unselected. Uh, what else? Select all on a track. If I double click, it selects everything. If I hold down shift and double click, it selects everything on the track. I didn't know that. Just learned that right now by looking at that little tool. And then there it also says if I want to access the range tool, I told, talked about this in the last video, I can hold down command. Command turns it into the range tool. Now, what you'll notice as well is this, uh, this little question mark bar, whatever they call it, what do they call it? The info view uh, even lets you, um, when you hold down different buttons, it changes. So you can see, well, what happens if I hold down shift? You hit shift, and look, the things you can do with shift are changed to white. So you can see the stuff you can do with shift. If I hold down command, watch this. All the information changed entirely. And I can see, okay, I'm using the range tool now, which lets me create a range. Uh, and if I hold down shift, it lets me include a range. So I'm guessing that means if I want to select this and then also select this by holding down shift, it lets me do both of those at the same time. Very interesting. Now, that's not a particular tool I use a lot, but imagine if you can think about the possibilities, it's pretty awesome. So let's go up here to this section kind of right up here where the the, the time base is, where we do all of our zooming. Uh, if you hover here, you'll see you can do lots of things, and it tells you right here. Uh, it lets me locate. If I want to move, this is the time ruler. If I want to go to a different section in the song, sorry, uh, I can just click here and it starts there and it starts here and it can move. Cool thing about Studio One is you can do that while the song is playing back. Instead of having to stop it, I click, I'm playing here, I want to jump over here to bar 25, I just click and it continues to play right there. That's pretty nifty. Now, look at what else does it say? I can start and stop by double clicking. Double click, stop, double click, start, double click, stop. So you don't have to be quite as, you can do a lot with your mouse that you I've never been able to do in another system. Uh, if we want to move through the session, we can click and drag. I like to do side scrolling with my trackpad, but if you don't have side scrolling or don't have a trackpad, you can do this to quickly scroll from side to side. Um, you can set a loop start and end by holding down command. I forgot about this. That is super helpful. So setting loop start, hold down command and click somewhere. To set the loop end, hold down option and click the end spot. Now, the other way you can do this is by simply clicking and dragging. This is like in Logic and many other DAWs, but that sometimes is a little 
more cumbersome, especially if you have to drag a long piece of audio. So just click here. We'll start at bar 25 and we'll end at bar 45. Boom. Start and start and very cool. And then obviously the biggest thing is zooming. You can do that by just clicking up here and zooming in. Now you can do things like zoom in and out using keyboard shortcuts. E and W do that. Uh, but I, that's what I used to do in Pro Tools. I never do that anymore. Now if I want to zoom in and out, and I'm looking at a piece of, at a song, I can zoom in like this, I can zoom out like that. If I want to zoom in on this bar here, I just click and zoom. Boom. As close as I want. It, it's a little, it takes a little getting used to, but it's really fun. And I'll do another video showing a little bit more about that down the road. So that's the question mark bar. As you can see, depending on what window you have open, you can see in this edit window, we've got a little bit different options available to us. Uh, in the mix window, I don't think it shows us much. Uh, but this is just the, the stuff that really gets you, that slows you down when you're editing. A lot of that is solved by turning on this info view. So now you can say, how do I do that? Oh, oh right, hold down shift and hold down a command and option. And that lets me do that slip event thing I saw Joe do on a video. Very, very helpful. I've never seen a system do something like this, where it's essentially a built-in tutorial right there while you're working. Really helps save time. So you don't even have to open the manual to find that thing. A lot of times you can find it right here. Very cool feature. Make sure you use it until you don't need it anymore. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching. See ya.